All right, how's it going? That's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining almost for the first time <laughs> in this new year of 2017. We have the end of March and the sun is shining for almost the first time. It's a beautiful day, but as you can see, with this hat, it's still a little cold. I'm very, very encouraged. I just want to give a, give that encouragement to you, give it further to you guys. You know, as the world is experiencing more and more evil almost every day or every week and things are could, could look really dark um, for some reason I I'm experiencing uh, an incredible uh, peace and encouragement at the same time. And I know I'm not the only one. Uh, it's happening all over the world. I hear about these, these things. And uh, it's just a, a fact that the God is pouring out his spirit upon, <laughs> the Bible says, upon all flesh. But it's really true. Uh, there is so much going on, positive. But I just want to encourage you because um, to experience this peace that passes all understanding, you got you to gotta get in. You gotta get in good with God. You gotta make it. You gotta decide to, uh, yeah, to go God's way, to go, to become one of His children, and you can ask Him when you want, uh, and He'll do that for you. He'll give. By, the Bible says He gives us the power to become His His children, but I would really encourage that because these days aren't. Yeah, they're not looking so good. And um, I'm here in Europe, and I'm ex we're experiencing these things pretty close at hand. Um, <laughs> but like I said, it, it doesn't matter. It, it looks like it, it doesn't matter because God, when God works, then. Like I said, the Bible says it gives a peace that passes all understanding. I can't explain it, but I even have a joy. It's like an encouragement that although all hell is breaking loose, you know, and it's looking really dark, uh, God has given me personally a perspective that is very, that <clears throat> allows me to be very encouraged and even even full of joy uh, it's a deep-seated joy uh, it's like a peace and joy to know of knowing that hey I belong to somebody else I belong to God and he he's not uh, re restricted to what is going on in this world uh, and the Bible even says that when you're a Christian, that you're not even a citizen of this world, okay, but of, of heaven. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. I I can't explain it, but it's like, yeah, this all this what's going on that we hear on TV and so what so forth. It's just passing. It's not gonna. We're not gonna 
be here forever anyway. And it's just like a, a temporary thing, you know? And I, I guess I'm starting to feel like, to experience that, that my true identity or true citizenship is in heaven and not here. Uh, that's, that's a good thing to, that it, it's a good thing that it, that, that, that is so. <laughs> but I'm, I, I guess I'm experiencing that life for, for real. Because otherwise I can't explain where I get this encouragement, uh, this positive feeling or uh, attitude towards the world. It's like, yeah, it doesn't matter, no? I, I mean, it does matter, but it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, I just wanted to encourage you, <laughs> and especially if you're a Christian, I wanted to encourage you to, uh, yeah, to, to look to God and turn to your Father, to your Maker, and to realize what He's got for you right now. Because, you know, if you're a Christian, you don't got to wait till you get in, get to heaven to start enjoying life. <laughs> you know, churches where there's persecution going on in other parts of the world, the Christians there that are being persecuted, I mean, bodily persecuted, being tortured and, and hit. For example, North Korea. Okay, maybe that's not politi politically correct to say this, but... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I could say a lot more, but those these Christians, they're, they're experiencing God on the other side, on the, um, like no one else in the world, you know, and other nations that are persecuting Christians, and yes, there's a lot of persecution, persecution going on now in a lot of countries. And you won't ever hear that on the mainstream news. That's, you can forget that. But it's there's other sources that are very reliable, and it's very, very uh, it's happening now. You know? But these churches, the Christians in these countries, are, they pray for us. They pray for America. And they pray for uh, Europe. It's it that the Christians here in the Western countries will get their act together and start really, yeah, following God and worshiping God. But I just want to say my point actually was just to bring some encouragement and say, hey, man, <laughs> God is, God is on working. God is working. And I would just encourage you to join in on what he's doing. Get Jump on the bandwagon and get get yourself going with God because uh, it could be there could be some times coming that we here in America or the Western world in our generation have never experienced, you know, and there could be some times coming that we've never ex experienced that aren't times that aren't very aren't very fun, you know, and uh, America is known as the land of of having fun. That's what where the rest of the world sees it. You know, that's the yeah. Well, I don't want to talk too long because I want you to watch this and not not say, oh, he's talking for half an hour. And I don't I don't have the time for that. So, God bless. Um, yeah, I'm I'm looking up. Uh, it's not even something that I'm do that I'm doing. It's it's happening inside of me. I'm, I'm able to uh, to look up with a a, a, jo a joyful attitude. I, I can't explain it, but I'm just telling you, I'm sure it can, <laughs> that it comes from Jesus, from, from knowing Jesus and growing, having a relationship with Jesus on a day-to-day -day basis. And I just encourage you to, to think about doing that yourself because, well, first off, it's just a great thing. That, and if you've never experienced it, then then you can't really understand what I'm saying, but or why I I'm saying this. But it's for real, man. And uh, check it out. I would say check it out, man. Okay.
Thanks.